Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm AI, this is AI Collectibles. So, what I have for you today is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo by Heat Boys. And this is a mech version of Leonardo. Uh, it stands about 9 inches tall, so I'm not sure what scale he is exactly. Or even what I have in my collection that will scale with him. But from the promo pick to like the earlier videos released i have just blown away by this guy and couldn't wait to get him in hand so I'm super excited to get into him so what I'm gonna do is open him up and go through his accessories and give you my opinion on what I think of the figure and if my excitement <laughs> holds up so stay tuned now while I got you here let's do a quick overview of the box you got the front, it's got a nice shot of the mech Leonardo with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon, Leonardo, Mutant Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. We'll flip this around to the back and you get some nice shots of the product as well. And, you know, just the varying accessories and some poses. Man, this guy looks freaking phenomenal. So, let's get this guy opened up. All right, so here we have the Heat Boys Mecha Leonardo, and holy crap. Man, I was messing around with this guy for, <laughs> I don't know, probably a good 30 minutes before I even started shooting the rest of this video. He's so, th there's so much going on here, man. There's so much to unpack. Um, just like, I... Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gushing a bit. The sheer weight of this guy is insane. Like a lot of the parts are die cast and it shows in the weight. Like I I've had die cast type figures before, which I'll also bring in to do a comparison with later. But just the engineering on this guy is bar none. Like I'm simply blown away with the levels of articulation on this guy. Uh, all, all the joints are nice, solid. I'm not scared I'm going to break him from moving around. There's bits and pieces that move. There's parts that move around so you can articulate them better without, you know, scraping or chipping paint. Uh, it's just, wow. The accessories, just the flexibility and just the level of love that went into this figure I'm just I'm simply blown away by so let's take a closer look at the figure like this is typically how he comes out of the package I did mess around with him a little bit before like I said so uh and when you come like when he's first out of the package the head's not attached you get the body but the body's nicely wrapped so again so the paint and stuff doesn't get chipped and damaged uh the packaging is phenomenal like even like on the packaging itself has these little like warning labels on them that are taped. So if you break the warning label, then the figure's opened, right? So sorry about you resellers or guys that say you just open for inspection. <laughs> I've never seen a like a high quality release figure do those like I've seen it on consoles and electronics but I've never seen it on a figure which is nice you know it's that it's that sealed it's it's brand new it's unopened nobody else has touched it since it left the like left the warehouse so since it was initially packaged but anyways let's get on to the figure the paint on this guy the level of detail is my god man like the gold paint pops the blues are really blue the green there's no i haven't there's no paint slop there just isn't there's none at all uh i'm just <laughs> i'm blown away um so for articulation i'm not gonna go through everything there is a nice like a beautiful instruction manual that comes with it like again one of the nicest damn instruction manuals i've ever seen it comes in a beautiful envelope like this with like the embossed Leonardo Mutant Ninja Turtle Leonardo on there. 
It's a beautiful envelope. It's got like kind of like a like a metal sheen to it. And then you get the instruction manual as well. And then it just, yeah, it, it tells you how to pose the figure without causing damage, what it can do, how to install batteries, uh, yeah, like the different options for hooking things onto them. It's just, yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. So you get the figure in hand here, right? And again, like things move out of the way here like this so you can bend them forward without chipping or wrecking the paint right and he has a little bit of side to side not much but enough right but he leans a fair bit the shoulder pads come up and out move around so that you can lift the arms up right without causing damage the arms come out like this like that's nuts <laughs> like if you look at the side here that's the joint. Everything in there is die cast. Like, I'm not worried I'm going to snap anything. So you can get the arms up, get the shoulders out of the way so you can get the arms out. Right? It's got a, a joint here. He's got double jointed elbows. But look at, look at the pistons. Like, everything moves with it. You pull this out. See that piston, how it moves? So you get double jointed elbows. Right? the hands you get a wrist articulation there as well you get the back and forth wrist articulation and then the fingers and thumb are articulated as well and have multiple points of articulation in there what i really like as well too is you'll see in the hand there's like a little nub here right so if you have a sword or if you have a gun it slots in there right so you don't, and then you can wrap his fingers and hands around it, and there you go. I'm just kind of messing around here. Obviously, I'll get better poses and stuff out of him, but right now for the, yeah, like even that articulates out, that articulates even further back, so you get more movement, right? Like, just, this is incredible. The head is on a ball joint so you get lots of movement that way plus it comes up so you can push it forward down more right so that's kind of your arm articulation oh my god <laughs> even the shoulder pad turns around like look at this like that's nuts and i'm not scared i'm gonna break any of this man like it's just incredible and then the arms can go out fully. You can do a T-pose. Right? Turns here. You get the double, like I said, the double jointed elbows with the hips. Now, let's go down to the legs, man. This is, again, where our, also I was simply blown away. So, you can go out about that far. You can go back quite a bit. That's straight. To move forward, you can go like that, but if you want to move it even farther forward, this comes down and out of the way, so that you can kick that much forward, right? Leg also goes out that much. <laughs> like, this is, it's, oh my god, it's nuts. You get double jointed knees as well, but watch how the engineering moves with it. Like, you see that knee joint in there? See how it moves? Like, Look at that. Incredible. How everything just kind of moves and tucks in there, man. The knees also, like you pop this back up, the knees will come down. They will move up. Right? Like this is all to help with the articulation so nothing gets hindered. And still looks badass, right? Same with the feet. You get some real nice range of articulation. Forward, back. You get, like, look at that. Look at that ankle articulation. Just phenomenal, right? The front part of the foot moves separate as well. So you can get it down, up. The toes move separately as well. 
So, yeah, you're <laughs> like, this is just something else, man. I'm in love with them. Like, it's going to take me a while to really work with the articulation and get some sick poses with this guy. But, man, like, right out of the package, I, I couldn't be more in love. This is definitely on my list for figure of the year, hands down. Just amazing. So, and that's just the figure itself. So, he comes with quite an array of accessories as well. So, first, like in the first part, he comes with two of these guns. And these guns are incredible. Nice paint. The cartridge moves. Doesn't come out, but still, like, look at that. Look at the scope. Look at the blue there. All the paint applications. Again, it's got those little nubs there for clicking into the hand. And you get two of those. So you get one for each hand. You also get this big arm cannon as well. Or not arm cannon, just a big-ass gun. So this moves... And then it's got like these mutagen canisters that plug in up here and also plug into the gun. Right? And they pop in and out nicely. But again, you know, you get the two tones of paint. There's some gold paint in there. It's just really well done. Really nicely painted. Then you get these two smaller swords. And again, the paint on these guys is incredible. You get some nice gold paint around the hilt. These are metal blades as well. You get some black paint on the back. And then it's got that nice blue, like baby blue paint through the blade. Like, just look how that pops, man. Just gorgeous. And you get two of those. You get two katanas in sheaths. And again, look at, look at the paint on that. Like, see the little symbol there? Gorgeous, man. And it's kind of got a slant, right? That goes with, you know, the katana. And then this comes out. And again, you can see that slant, right? It's got that little bit of slant. And again, these are die casts. You get the metal there with the black. Some gold paint around the hilt. And they just slide right in nice. Boom. Beautiful. We'll get those off to the side. You get four of these ninja stars, and which is wild because the ninja stars are plastic. But great ninja stars. You get four of those. You get this pizza. Oh, little piece of pizza with like different electronics and stuff in there. But this is how you turn his lights on in his eyes. Which I don't have batteries in there yet. I need to pick them up. That'll fit. Um, but yeah, this is how you switch on. The light feature inside his head. And I didn't put this on yet. Because this is the shell. And even the shell is... <laughs> there's definitely more than meets the eye on this thing. So it also articulates so that it moves with the figure. And it just slots right into the back here. See, there's a slot there. And... Just kind of fits in there nicely, like so. Looks fantastic, articulates with the figure. But it does have some of its own articulation that I kind of wanted to go over. So these two flaps open up. Right? And then this bad boy opens up. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So this pops up, right? Gives you a nice look inside. You get some nice metal details and stuff around there. O1 TMNT. But this thing swivels open. And you get a little cockpit for a little Ninja Turtle sitting there. And control this mech. Like, incredible. And also this piece. It's a little, not too bad once I got it off the first time. But... Yeah, the first time getting this thing down was a little hard, but this also pops down, right? So you get a nice look inside the cockpit. 
And then you get a little blaster, rocket blaster here too, on the bottom that articulates as well. Like so. And then everything just kind of snaps back in. You turn that around. But the turtle that fits in here comes on a little plastic card like the old TMNT accessories. So you get the clear, you get the green clear Leonardo standing. You get, you know, in a pose, you get one seated, then you get these little wheels, right? And then you get a, just a black version of it, black plastic. And again, such a nice little detail. The tires are, if you buy all the figures, it shows you in the instructions. But if you purchase all the figures, you get this. So, Leo comes with the wheels, which is kind of weak. But yeah, like, each turtle will come with something that you can build the turtle van with, which all the little turtles will be able to sit inside, which is a really cool feature. <clears throat> So, again, we'll close this guy up, like so, all this stuff clicks back in there, and then you can put this on the shell, like so, and there you go. Like, man, <laughs> this guy is so awesome, such an incredible figure, and I forgot to talk about it, he's got a shield as well right so and it like the shield also comes apart so that you can stick like the swords fit in here um trying to think of what else like these come right off like the shield comes apart in pieces right so you can take these off oh, this one's giving me a little bit harder time than the other side oh and i'm throwing, <laughs> throwing lights around Okay, so I <laughs> got the shields apart, and again, look at the paint on that. Just incredible, right? So on the back here, they have little nubs, which pop out. Okay, same on this side. If I can get my... This is a problem when you don't have nails. <laughs> So we'll give this a little pull out here, like so, and then, oh, smacking everything around. So these you can throw on here if you want extra shoulder blades or like shoulder protectors, like so, right? You want to give them some badass shoulders. Also, if you want to give them some, a little bit of extra side waist protection, you can do that as well. If I can get it in there. But yeah, he has all these little holes and stuff so you can accessorize him that way, right? And then the other thing is, he's got these little portholes as well that are covered up. He has some that aren't, that are wide open. But then you get these that just pop off. They can give you another port there that you can add stuff into. And there's another tray of shit. <laughs> um, also, these come off, but they're kind of a pain in the ass. So that you can slot stuff in there as well. There's another porthole in here. But trying to get it off with my big ass fingers and lack of nails is kind of... The, they've really been the only thing that's given me any real trouble. Trying to get those off. So. And then the shield as well. All right, well, I was putzing around with the shield. I also noticed that these pegs come out and up like this. So you can move it on to the side. I think I was struggling with that before, but... 
Yeah. I'm gonna pop this off. Flip it back. I'm go forward. And then there you go. Please come out. And up and down. Clip in to his waist. Oh. Do you want to give him a bit of a kind of skirted armor there as well? That guy looks so dope. <laughs> and then with this part, the swords clip in into those little slots, right? So you can, like so. And same with this side. Clip in like that. And then, with the other sheet, there, we'll get him back there. There's a whole another slip of accessories. So, let's get that out of the way. Open the open the stickers. And then this was the one I was talking about. Comes with the stand, comes with all these little nubs that attach to the figure. So that you can add different accessories and stuff on him right and the stand as well for posing him but man unless you got him in flight poses i really don't think you'll need it but that like one of those is meant to clip in to here so that you can here we go this is supposed to come off and then you can clip it in there right if you wanted but it gives you like a sword kind of shield thing that you can spin, right? Which is really cool. Alright, so let's bring in some other stuff to do a little bit of a size comparison with. So give you an idea of how it scales with, you know, the typical 112 scale Leonardo. And then we got the Super 7 Leonardo as well. Just so you have an idea for scale wise. And I'm going to bring in probably what I think scales the best with him is. And also for the best comparison would be the 3 0 Bumblebee. Because again, it has very similar ish aspects and articulation. So we'll get him. But, it, like, some of his is a little more delicate, I would say, than Leo is. But, that's, you know, for a size comparison, that's kind of what you got, right? They're almost about the same height, so. Mind you, the, I also have the Optimus Prime and Soundwave, so they'll be quite a bit bigger than him. They stand probably about 12 inches, 11 12 inches tall and these guys stand at about nine he's about eight and a bit and he's at nine so but yeah just whew. and like these guys are probably some of my favorite figures in my collection are these three zero transformers just because of the you know the paint apps level of detail the articulation everything that i love about this figure is in these figures but not as much as in this guy like the articulation and just the level of engineering on these heat boys tmnt figures are out of this world to say the least like just bar none i don't think there's anything else like it on the market nothing that i've had in my hands and on my table anyway so uh but yeah th that would be my best comparison would be the three zero uh bumblebee transformers figures so that's all i got for you today if you get a chance and you're at all interested in these heat boy tmnt figures and you like mechs you love ninja turtles you can't go wrong you'll be blown away simply 
just blown away. They're they're it's a beautiful figure, and I've gushed enough about it. I've said this like ten, <laughs> probably ten times during this review. I am I bought this with my own money. Like this is something I purchased for my collection. And moving forward, I'll probably end up grabbing the other brothers and possibly Shredder when he comes out. The price, the size, the detail, the articulation, just, you know, all the accessories and the different options for display and posability. It's just, I, I got nothing else like in my collection. I'm going to have a hell of a lot of fun messing with this guy and uh, snapping pictures of him moving forward. So... Again, you guys know what to do. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. I appreciate you guys that tune in and watch my videos. That's all I got for you today. I'm out of here.